Hey everybody, Charlie Nighter 2 here, and welcome back to Fuga, Melodies of Steel. We last left off, man, our, our children were hurting. Let's see if we can get them fixed up in the dormitory here. Let's rest. So, Boron, Malt, Wappa, Hack, Kyle. We're going to have to sleep twice. Man, it costs five, too. Okay, Hannah is injured. Do I want to spend five just to fix Hannah? Tell you what, let's see if we can get away with doing everything else that we want to do. There's stuff up top there, I see it. Nope, that's just you doing magic. All right, let's go to Wappa. Uh, I don't think we planted anything, so... Give me this item. Hush. So we're going to cook. We're going to cook extra damage and injury resistance. Or decreases skill cost and speed. You know what? I think skill cost and speed is probably better than just a little bit more damage. So let's do this. Successful. Okay. Alright. Can we improve anything here? We can't. Okay. So, Hannah, it's your lucky day. You're going to get to sleep. Rest. Let's do Hannah. Chick, Hack, May. And Jen? All right, eat, 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 plant, play with moose sheep, moose sheep, expedition, eat, moose sheep, chicken, and vegetables. Let's just go ahead and do that. That's probably the way that we can get the most kids happy. Farm, moose sheep, moose sheep, chicken, chicken, wheat, cabbage, tomato, carrot. Now, does that make everybody happy? Moose sheep. Okay. Pretty good return on investment there. Eat, 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 and expedition. Really don't want to go on an expedition. I don't see the point now, seeing as how we really don't have anything to expand. So we'll just talk to people. Chance to deepen. I want to play outside sometimes. Me too. Okay, you are six, you are two. Let's talk to you. Don't you think the doors into Tyrannus are a little narrow? They're so narrow. Wonder why people go to war. I agree. All right, let's go up. Let's get our crew straight. All right, so everybody is healthy now. May, and there we go. Okay. I think we're about ready to do this. Can we do laundry now? We can't do laundry now. Why not? Usually on the last one you can. Weird. Observe. Mystery of the Malamute Underground Passage. Besides the ruins in the Malamute Underground Passage, mysterious phenomena are also found here. Although the sunlight cannot reach this area, faintly lit particles sparkle as they drift through the cave. All right, let's uh, let's do it. 
Yes, going to battle. All right, let's give it our all to fight General Hacks. Unless this is something else. This isn't General Hex. There are more chapters than I expected. Halfway through the cave, a Burman tank appeared to block their way. Its engine was quiet, almost as though it was waiting for the Tyrannus. Oh, is this Brits? In this oppressive silence, a familiar voice rose from the tank, a voice they knew so well. That took you forever. I thought you'd get here sooner. I'm sorry to say this, but I can't let you pass. Brits, what are you doing here? Is that you, Brits? Why? Hey, knock it off with the jokes, okay? Children couldn't understand why their friend was aboard a Burman tank. Just so there's no confusion, I'm here of my own free will. Come at me, I'll show you how it's really done. Come on, I don't want to fight you. Why's it gotta be like this? Why gotta be like this? Brits, please listen. We don't want to fight you. Weird character arc here. You can't fight at full power against Brits. The soul cannon is unavailable. What are you doing, man? I love the music, though. Alright, so Sheena needs to get changed out with Hannah. Why is everyone... Everyone is depressed. Absolutely everyone is depressed. Or whatever the swiggly lines are. What's the squiggly lines? Depressed. Can't use skills, either? The Werther. Is that all you've got? Can't use skills. Are we supposed to lose this? I don't see how we're supposed to win this without skills. Can't link attack either. What if we just defend? What's the matter? The Tyrannus is moving so stiff. You think Brits knows what's going on? This is like part of his plan? Or is he just legit just an asshole? I don't want to attack you, dude. Why are you holding back? I will not. I mean, at least you'll give us all Link Gage. Fight with all his might. Give me a second, I gotta put some chapstick on. This tank kinda sucks. Oh, now we need, uh... Well, we have no skills, so we're just gonna switch to all main gun. Increase speed, increase accuracy. That's yeah, fine. This is fine. How do you have so much HP, dude? We'll try a delay, and then we're going to use a repair kit, I guess. Fourteen hits. Oh, 
There's no time. You have to fight back. Yeah, he must be doing this to make sure that we don't fight back. I assume. You have to stop him. I can't cure these status effects. Is he not attacking now? It's just defend. Defend. He's reluctant. Defend. Should we be attacking now? Or is this plot? If you keep up like this, you'll never catch up with the Tarascus. Which is exactly why I'm here. Okay. I guess we should probably attack. We can't take down armor because we don't have any skills. He's almost at half. We're going to delay him and then we're going to take another repair kit just to keep our health up. I don't know what to expect out of this battle. Wow, 4,000. All right, he's confused. Uh, let's do uh, great. No, let's just do regular. Sure, I guess. Yeah, he's afraid. Does fear wear off? I feel like it does. Yeah, I guess we just kill him. I thought that reluctance and everything meant that we shouldn't attack, but clearly that's not the case. Attack increase, three hit attack, HP recovery. The hatch opened to reveal Brits. I knew I could only stop you for a short while, but you guys are pretty amazing. Shocked, the children asked Brits what he was doing there. Why'd you have to fight us? Are we supposed to be friends? Remember that letter I found in that wrecked Berman tank? It was a coded message. We found your mother and sister. If you don't do as we say, we cannot guarantee their safety. That's why after the fight with the Tarascus, I snuck out and rejoined the Berman. You lied to, boy! The children told Brits that they rescued his mother and sister at the camp in the volcanic lands. Brits, please listen. Your mother and sister were among the prisoners we freed. We saved them all. Yeah, they're just trying to pull your leg. 
That can't be. Hack said he was holding my mother and sister captive. And that my cooperation would guarantee their safety. If you join the army, the two of them escaped bourbon and fled to Gasco. They cried loads about having left you. Being alone isn't so bad, though. Your mother and sister are safe. You don't need to worry any more Brits. What? Are you telling the truth? They're safe? The, the Berman tricked me. In a brief display of anger, Brit slammed his fist into the tank. Regaining his composure, he spoke feebly to the children. They may have deceived me, but I betrayed you. I can't be with you anymore. Go. The children met him with broad smiles. Get in here, you. You were in pain. You didn't betray us. We could still use your help. What do you say? Your mother and sister were worried about you. I was too. I hope you'll come with us again. All right, already. If you want to apologize, then hurry up and get over here. We'll put you to work, so be sure to thank us, would you? Shall we go together? Kapshi kapshi da? Let's not waste any more time. <laughs> we stick together no matter what. Hey, can we go now? You shouldn't keep the ladies waiting. Off we go, Brits. If we get done, we have to pay it back, right? You guys... I'm really sorry. It seems like I'm in your debt yet again. I don't know if I can ever repay you, but let's finish this together. Super betrayal, man. Were you lonely without me? I bet you were. I missed you, too. Let's hurry back once we finish this. Achievement unlocked a real friend. Brits joined the crew. Soon, Vanergrand. Soon. Soon, I will soon destroy you. Just realized we totally wasted that mill with the skill points because uh, couldn't use any skills on that battle. Is this another chapter? Emerging from the cave, they arrived at the outskirts of Parisia. What do we do now? Guess we made it in time. We'll find that tank and give it a major thrashing. As they set out to search for the Tarascus, the voice on the radio told them something they couldn't believe. There's no need to search for the Tarascus. It will soon become one with the Vanergand, for you see, the beast must be awakened. The children raised their voices, shouting, The Vanergand must be awakened? Weren't we trying to keep it from awakening? The voice that shouldn't have been able to hear them answered for the first time. My dears, you are wrong. What glory would I find in fighting and crushing Vanergand if it's not fully awakened? <laughs> Quivering, the children screamed at the radio and demanded to know the truth. Who are you? What do you want? Me? I was the one protecting you all this time in my belly. My name is Jen. I am the artificial intelligence of the Tyrannus. It's consciousness, if you will. So who's the, the ghost lady then? At that moment, Parisia was engulfed in flames as the earth began to shake violently. Straighten the boss battle? In order to finally put an end to the Vanergand in our millennia-long battle, I had been searching for a way to awaken it. 
In order to do so, I crafted a legend that got passed down from generation to generation among children of the Burman people. The popular legend of the lost god they love so much. Come now, my children. The board is set, and now is the time for us to move the pieces. So the tank just wants to fight. Kind of lame twist. Chapter 11 is complete. How many chapters are there? I kind of thought this was the last one, but I was wrong. Well, this has to be it, right? This has to be the end. New entry has been added to the Berman reports. Enter village. Markets. Can we make stuff into ancient stuff? really does not look like we can oh what did we need we needed titanium I think no steel I don't know if we need to steal our titanium. Thought it was titanium. Let's do a couple. Let's bring it up to 30. Everything else, like, can't really do anything with. Uh, let's go to great energy cells. Okay. Castle Square. Lunette, the author of The Adventures of Sucre, released a message saying that the next series is going to blow our minds. Actually, there's a rumor that Lunette's never made a public appearance. Pretty mysterious. Ramparts. Seems the Burman are finally approaching Parisia at last. You've got to get out of here fast. It's not much, but take this. It's better than nothing. I'm sorry, that's my phone alarm. Let me turn that off. Better than nothing. Caesar Tower. That giant Burman tank headed toward Parisia, fired on the Gasco army in a blink of an eye, and then left. Gasco has no weapon to defeat such a monster. Maybe the giant tank of rumor is our only hope. Gave me some meat. Awesome. Library. Burman reports. Yeah, see, we've got another report over here. Once upon a time, God bestowed power upon our people, and everyone lived in happiness. However, there come some evil beings who claimed God's power as their own, and with it they created a devil. Distraught, God battled with the devil and delivered his punishment. However, having lost his heart, he fell fast asleep deep beneath the land. With his last breath, he proclaimed that when men had forgotten their transgressions and remembered how to live in happiness, he would return to the land once more. What is this? First contact between the Juno and humanity. The history of humanity was greatly altered by the discovery of the mysterious hyper-information convergence known as Juno. With the discovery of the first Juno in Australia... Wait, what? Now we're in real world now? And utilizing the information gathered, the remaining four were discovered in separate locations around the world. As a result of the analysis, it was determined that Juno possessed an assortment of information and technology that humanity could never achieve on their own. Thus, it became a growing opinion that Juno should be shared among all mankind. From this notion, additional copies were created for a total of 53 Juno. Any more would trigger a protective mechanism that would restrict more from being made, and were dispersed to as many countries around the world as possible. As information exchange increased between allies and neighbors, even in countries where Juno were not sent, it was thought humanity, humans, from around the world began to significantly develop evenly. So let me, let me postulate here. This, which seems like very ancient, not ancient, but seems like older history and like an alternate reality, is in fact the future of humanity. We've evolved into dog and cat creatures and we've went to another World War II in the future. 
We've even named ourselves Berman Empire and Gasco for the French. So all of this happened after the downfall of actual humans. Is that what I'm getting from this? Possibly. Look, there's a thing here, too. We don't even know what this is. End cards. No more end cards. Locations. One more location. We missed a few. Berman reports. There's one more. And there's two of these. Illustrations. There's probably quite a few illustrations we don't have. Indeed he do. Quite a few. This game may be much longer than I expected. Though 20 is the max level for stuff, so... I don't know. Alright. Let's go to... From Dawn to New on the Sea, Chapter 12. Should be an intermission at the start. Look, there's an Eiffel Tower. It's like Attack on Titan Paris. Wielding the power of the Tarascus, Hax laid waste to everything in his path on the way to Parisia. Only fire and destruction were left in his wake. It's too much for us. We can't hold it back. Y'all should have just dug a big hole. And let it just fall in. At this point, it's unavoidable. Request the evacuation of all citizens from Parisia. Yes, sir. One by one, the Gasco defense garrisons were decimated, and the fall of Parisia was only a matter of time. I'm trying my announcer voice out there. Sounds horrible, I know. Parisia facade inside Tarascus. That's enough testing, let's leave it there. The Tarascus proved to be strong enough, but what we truly desire is the Vanergand, the god that sleeps beneath Parisia. But why though? Like, what do you have to benefit from awakening this god and destroying this country completely? You would seem like you would have had more benefit from enslaving the people like you had before. <laughs> before dealing with the Tyrannus, I must revive our god to make the legend come true. Are you just interested in the legend? Is, is really that all it is? Hax, now inside the city walls, sped forward to return the Vanergan to its... The Vanergan's its heart. Watch it destroy his tank and then we gotta fight the god or whatever. Outskirts of Parisia. Is this a full chapter where we gotta drive around? The citizens of Parisia are in danger. We have to hurry. Let's go! Go, go, go. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a complete full chapter. Let's see what we can do inside the tank. I still don't think we can upgrade anything. We eat a baked potato. I do too, to be honest. Baked potatoes are amazing. Yeah, nothing to be done in the workshop here because we need ancient barrels. Yeah, we literally cannot upgrade anything. We just don't have the parts. So... Scrap fishing can be expanded. Sure. It's maxed out. Now, just out of curiosity, what can we catch? We can catch Ancient. At 65%. We're going to try that in a minute. First things first. Let's do some cooking. We cannot cook our fruit tart. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. We've uh, diverted from the plan. Crit and link gauge. Attack and injury resistance. 
Let's do attack and injury. So we need cabbage, carrot, tomato, wheat, and milk. Cabbage, carrot, tomato, wheat, milk. Actually, let's go back after harvesting and see what we actually need. Wait a minute. Have I been doing this wrong? If we cook... Can we cook multiple meals? Let's see what happens if we cook this one too. Does it overwrite the benefits of the old ones, or does it add to it? It adds to it? This whole time I could have been cooking multiple meals? What do we want? We want to cook this one for sure. We need apples. We're low on apples. We're low on wheat. Apples, wheat, and more vegetables. Let's do that. We could have cooked multiple meals. Farm. Apples. Apples. Wheat. Wheat. Tomatoes. Carrots. Strawberries. Potatoes. I wish that was more explained. That would have been helpful in several of those fights. Injury resistance for sure. So, you can cook multiple meals and collect them on your little right trigger menu here. Activated meal effects. Did not know that. I guess it was my fault for not trying. We're going to spend all of our AP scrap fishing for ancient materials here because we want to do some better upgrades if we can. Control room, let's put our machine gunners out front. Let's put Hannah here. This is fine. Let's go up again. Grab whatever this is. Nylon line, let's observe. Parisia, capital city of Gasco. As the capital of Gasco, Parisia is the center of culture, economics, and education. The Great Wall surrounding the city is a remnant of the previous Civil War. Okay, let's make sure there's nothing up top here. Nothing, go down. All right, we about to be some scrap fishing fools. Nobody's injured, right? No, okay. We can scrap fish up to six times and hopefully get some of these ancient materials is what we need. Scrap fish. Copper line is the highest. It is 65%. 75. Successful. Got ancient breach. Is that good enough to upgrade anything? It is not. Let's try again. Scrap fishing. Sure. 65. 70, 75. Highly successful. Ancient barrels, nanometal chunks, titanium. Hey, we got some upgrades now. Cannon and armor. I like them both. Let's do it. Level 16 cannon. Level 16 armor. We can go 17. That's a lot of extra. Okay, let's see if we can catch some more. Hold on, what do people want to do? Nothing much. Okay, cool. Scrap fish, let's do it. Let's get ancient stuff just on the road. I guess the way I can uh, validate this in my mind is that the Tarascus 
tour through here and unearth some ancient ruins. So yeah, my theory about if this is much later in a future after humanity has died out, that would explain why there's ancient technology that's higher tech than what these cats and dogs are at. So, so yeah, cats and dogs evolved to basically rule the world after the fall of humanity? Interesting. I'm liking that idea. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my content, please consider a like, a comment, and or a subscribe. Stay tuned for the next episode. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.